Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Parvati, and today we're going to be going over my healing UI. So I've had a couple people ask me how I set things up for when I'm healing in groups and when I'm healing in raids. So I just wanted to take a moment to quickly go through the main core parts of my UI, which is LVI and Voodoo for my heal frames. So LVI, very, very common all-in-one add-on that is going to cover the majority of your UI. So if we just go ahead and open this up, you see there's a lot of options in here. And if you're new to LVI, this can be extremely intimidating to go through all of these options and try to set things up. So what I would recommend is going over to wago.io and finding a profile that is close to what you want and then just modifying and tweaking things from there. If you like my UI, I will go ahead and post the import string down below in the description so you can go ahead and import that in. So to see how I have things set up, I'll just unlock the bars here so you can see where everything is. So I keep my main uh, player frame to my left and my target to the right. Um, I just kind of threw pet bar up here because I'm a druid, so I don't really normally have a pet. Um, so it's kind of just never gets used. Alternate power, um, used a little less in this expansion. Have my chat, I have some data bars going on. I have all of my hotkey bars down here. I use um, an orb weaver keypad, so I have those kind of uh, set up to match how the keys are laid out on my orb weaver. Um, arena frames over here as, long, as well as the boss frames. Map and player buffs, debuffs, kind of all hidden up there. That's not something I'm normally looking at in the fight. I do have my player frame set up to just show my debuffs right above here so I don't have to look all the way up to the top right of my screen to see my debuffs, they're gonna show up right here. And the same thing with the target frame. I can see the buffs and debuffs over here um, if there's anything I need to soothe or be aware of. Um, I have my cast bar right in the center here, right above my um, weak aura. Uh, I don't have a right chat. Um, I like to keep my, my details windows over there and some just miscellaneous extra buttons that I don't really have key bound, things that I'm going to periodically want to click, my hearthstone, uh, flasks, oils, that sort of thing. So I'm not going to go too deep into how I have my LVI set up since uh, you'll have my profile there down below. The next big thing is going to be the heal frame. So I very much enjoy using Voodoo um, for healing because it gives you a lot of different options for clicks. So I have my, my Rejuve, which being a Resta Druid is pretty much my main heal. Um, Dispel, uh, Innervate, uh, Rebirth, all that sort of stuff um, is right key bound. So I'm going to go ahead and open up those options. I will also include my profile for Voodoo and uh, the bouquets that I have. I will include the link because I did actually get those from another great Resto Druid Growl or Yummy TV. So those are all his. Um, I started out with his Voodoo profile and modified it to my own liking. So I'm going to include my edit and as well as the link to his original if you'd prefer to use his. Um, if you're not familiar with Voodoo, it's kind of meat of it is all of these clickable abilities that you can do and you assign those how you want. I just mainly use the, the main ones without modifiers, but I mean, you could get really elaborate with all the different modifiers you can do. Um, you can uh, set up like a buff window. I, I haven't really messed with that one, so I'm not going to go too much into it. The other big thing is the debuffs. So I have them showing right in the corner there. Um, you can customize exactly what debuffs show and which ones do not. So there is an ignore list that you can add things to. Um, 
So like when you're doing a keystone, how you get that challenger's burden debuff, um, that's really annoying to see because it's just going to be on everyone and it's taking up space. Um, exhaustion, I don't need to see if somebody has uh, exhaustion from heroism, that sort of thing. Um, all your main uh, customization is going to be under panels. You can set up all your hot icons. And this is where the bouquets that I got from Growl really come in handy because there are way more hots a Resto Druid has than can fit in these seven options. Um, especially when you get into more advanced healing gameplay um, where there's raid cooldowns and personal cooldowns that you want to track. Um, so if we go into these, it'll show you. Okay, so this is pretty much just doing spring blossoms, um, which I'm always running. It's normally always on people, especially if I'm in a five man. So I could probably just replace that one with just spring blossoms. Um, for Haunt 2, I have both Cenarian Ward and Wild Growth are the main things that are going to show up. If you take the Cultivation Talent, which we don't really do um, in Shadowlands anymore. Um, so those will both show together and it's a priority. So depending on uh, what I want to show. What the big thing is, is personal defensives and raid cooldowns. Because that's going to be um, according to class. So I have all of the personal defensive, mostly tank cooldowns. So I can see if my tank um, has their shield wall up, has their last stand. So I'm not blowing my iron bark on them when I don't need to, that sort of thing. And then the same thing with raid cooldowns. Um, so I can see uh, when I put iron bark on someone, uh, if they have the tranquility leftover hot on them and how many stacks that's really important that's why they're the highest priority but also I can see if people are getting bop and all these other different uh, raid cooldowns that you're going to see for defensives so that's where uh, the bouquets really come in handy and there's there's a whole bunch um, in here there's some that come default and then some you can make yourself and then the also uh, uh, the nice thing here is that you can have all these different profiles. So I have different profiles set up for when I'm healing in a group and when I'm healing in raid. Um, and those will automatically change based on the raid size that you have set. So this profile is automatically going to load as soon as I join um, a raid that's 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, or goes up to 30 I need to shrink things on on my frame a little bit so I'm gonna apply the 2025 raid so I can go over to the move and then try it out so you can see how it pops up and if you want to see this in action um, I will go ahead and link one of my stream bots um, so you can see how all the debuffs are showing and the rejuves and everything else in action in the middle of a raid So those are my main healing add-ons. I have a ton of different weak auras um, for raid and different things. Um, I am using a modified version of Ipsy's uh, Resto Druid weak aura that's going to show all my main abilities. Um, so I don't have to look down here in the corner. I'm just keeping my eyes here more in the center. And that's the biggest thing that you can do as a healer because you tend to zone in on the healing frames this will help keep your eyes a bit more elevated so you can see what's going on with um, the fight in front of you i hope this helped you out and answers any questions you have um, if there's anything i haven't covered that you're wondering about please go ahead and post it in the comments and i'll get back to you thanks for watching and enjoy your gaming